how would you describe you know your journey just to get to this moment and to have the NBA draft on your doorstep? Um, just uh, a long journey. Um, I just feel like just grateful. You know, in these when you, when you come to these facilities, I just think about everything I've been through, and I'm just grateful to even have this opportunity. What do you try to show to the Pacers, and what do you try to show other NBA teams throughout this process? Just that I'm a I'm a great teammate. I'm a great guy. Um, I feel like people know what I can do on the court. I just want them to see the type of guy I am and the type of character I display that they should want me in their organization. What do you think this season at New Mexico State did for you and just your decision to to really pursue this? Um, I, I think this season just gave me like closure for college. I feel like I'm able to leave college behind at this point. Um, also with being able to get my degree a year early, um, I feel good in the decision of coming out. What was the the tournament like and, and kind of becoming, you know, like that overnight star that people dream of? Um, you know, it's just, I mean, I, I know what I can do on the court, like I said, so it's just, it's always great to get the recognition, but I just love basketball. So just being able to get a chance to play at the highest level, that's all I was thinking about. Was that game in the tournament one where you look back and you're like, all right, I kind of show what I can do? I mean, it's great for the resume, for sure, yeah, <laughs> for sure. And then, uh, what would like 10 year old you say about where you are now? Like, when did you know, like, was it always a lifelong dream or did it become something later in life? No, it always was. I mean, I used to pretend to be, you know, Kobe, Darren Williams, LeBron out there in the in the uh, driveway, you know? So just to see me now, I would just, it's just, it's a dream to see yourself become what you always wanted to be. What types of strengths do you think you have in, in your game? How would you describe your strengths? And then what are you, some things you tried to improve on since college? I think my biggest strength is, is just I'm mentally tough, being able to be an everyday guy, coming in every day, working hard, practicing, love the game, like I said. Obviously, I can score the ball, but I feel like I bring a lot to the team, toughness-wise, on both ends of the floor. What do I see? Birthday tomorrow? Yeah, it is tomorrow, actually, yeah. 20. Four, yeah. Four. Yeah. All right. So along those same lines, you got some, a lot of 18 and 19 year olds that you compete against out here. Yeah. How does your age help you? In I mean, process? I'm just. I feel like I'm just stronger. Like I just know what to get to. Um, you know, those like obviously everyone. Everyone's talented at this level. So, but when you have more years under your belt, it just helps you uh, know certain things you can get to, things you can do, can't do, your limitations, things like that. Some in you know the mock drafts maybe would view that as a deterrent. What yeah. do you say about to those people? I mean, I don't think it's a deterrent. I'm ready. I'm seasoned and ready to come in and help a team in, in any capacity, whether that's bench roll, uh, rotation player, whatever it is, starter, whatever it is. Uh, I'm ready to do that. Last one from me. I see you got a lot of tasks. Is there like a favorite that you have? Oh, yeah, probably my mom. She right here. Yeah, she passed away, so gotcha. always got to. That's my favorite one. Gotcha. What does she mean to you and just this journey that you're on? Everything, man. Uh, I promised her before she, she died, I promised her I'll get to the league, so time to do it.